Hey everybody, Martin again at Flicking Feathers today and I'm tying another stocking bug. It's a Let's Laid special. Um, I mean, it's just a basic lead bug really, they're all much of, much of a muchness. Um, I'm tying these so I might as well do the video. As always there will be a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content and be eligible for the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button, get notified of the new videos as they come out. So I've got my hook and my vise, it's a size 8 Kamazan B175 and I'm starting some Uni 8 Aught and Rusty Dunn, although the colour doesn't matter at all. I'm just running a bed on the length of the shank. For the tail I'm using two colours of Marabou, I'm using a lime green or a chartreuse, fluorescent chartreuse. And you just a wee bunch, you don't need a lot. Trim away the curly bits for the strip, stripping off the, the feather. Catch that in with a couple of wraps. And then a bunch of olive, much the same. And now you can see I've got the waist piece of the citrus more or less the length of the shank. I'm going to tie the olive so the waist piece is a wee bit shorter so that I get a wee taper and uh, fly right. I want like a kind of cone shape coming down to the front. I mean, it's no much, but it. It sort of gets magnified by the wire body. Now the tail length, it's up to you. Some folk like the tail's quite long. Um, I would say about a shank or a hook length, something like that. It's just nice. I just grab that and pinch it off. Put that back into focus. It's maybe even a bit long there. It's much better if you nip it and cut it. You get a much nicer effect. Now, that's the actual tie-in part of the fly basically done. So I'm going to come in. Just a two turn bit finish is all you need really. Although I don't like that wee bit of fuzz so... So I tidy it up another one. Now, I generally kind of like to, when I tie a lead bug, I, I do like to get a bit of thread over the, the initial tie-in, but with this one it's going to be super glued, then paint it, uh, you know, it's got to get several coats of varnish, or even epoxy if you want it, so you don't really need to tie it in. So I'm going to get some gel type super glue because this gives you time. Right, the liquid, the thin standard liquid type is very runny and it will basically it will stick too quickly if you make a wee mistake. So I've just got to start this and wind it down or into this uh, super glue. down towards the eye and you can see I hope that the super glue sort of squeezing up into the gaps when I get to that about an eye length behind the eye I can pinch that off and then what I like to quickly do is just run it with my finger that takes away any excess super glue that's squeezing out take your thumbnail and flatten that if there's a wee sharp edge, the back of your nail's harder than the lead, so it'll 
flatten that out at the back here much the same I'm just going to take this use the vise there I'm just turning it to get it seated right in below up against it and I'll use my thumbnail to nip that away clean and to be quite honest you could probably just give that a wee coat with um, clear varnish and it would catch fish just as well but I've got some olive nail polish actually I'm using here and I'm going to get a nice thick coat of that on it shrinks but when it dries so you don't need to worry about that it's better to have it quite heavy because you don't want the bare metal to kind of keep through And you let that dry. We'll be back when it's dry. So when that's dry, you get a nice, uh, you get the kind of segments of the lead wire showing through quite well. Um, and then you're ready for the hot spot. And I'm just using an acrylic paint fluorescent red, you can use whatever colour you want really I'm just going to get it now get a wee drop on a toothpick get a wee blob on the top and then you let that dry once it's set up You either fly a coat of uh, varnish or epoxy and you're done. Maybe two coats of varnish. So that's the Let's Lead special. Uh, hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys. Bye.